You got the bird. Got the bird. Do I got the bird? Hi, you guys. Venture Cook here. It's Acrylic Painting Monday. We're going to be doing something really fun. We're going to go to Italy and paint a balcony today. We've got all kinds of giveaway prizey things uh, for those of you who are catching us as the live broadcast. And uh, we want to thank you for joining us. Uh, I hope everybody can hear us. Our, our sound is perfect today. We're certainly hoping so. And um, I want to take a moment before we forget to um, to uh, to welcome our moderators for the live show. That's why we have live chat. Remember, everything you write is written in stone. You can be, come back months later and read. So <laughs> uh, keep that in mind. <laughs> so, Watch what you say. And uh, we're going to try to focus just on the arts tonight. And uh, know a lot of stuff's going on in the world, but we'd like to keep the chat to, you know, arts-related topics, if possible. And also, um, if you have a question for us, um, if you'll put it in all caps, um, we'll try to answer it. If it's really important, you want to write us the, the day before or something so that we answer it on live on air. We, we you can know, also send an email because I do monitor you emails can send, yeah, the just, shows. Yeah, just send us an email. We monitor those. If you just feel like... We're not hearing you because sometimes, depending on who's coming today, the chat goes back by very fast. Chat goes by fast, and even yeah. sometimes when you do it in all caps, YouTube does not display it to everybody. Oh. And we don't know why that is, but again, well, that's a thing. And the voice you're hearing, that's uh, my significant other and our commander over there in the uh, in the control room there for the live broadcast, John Ooh. Little. We want to say thank him for coming. And Mods, <laughs> we just if you'll take a moment and just say hi to everybody, then we'll know who's here so we can say hi back to you. Well, I mean, we have a uh, moderator, Stif Stif Steffi. Steffi. Hi, Steffi. We have Steffi, Luann, and Lady Liz for sure. They have shown hi, up. Hi, you guys, Steffi and Luann. And welcoming everybody as they come in. And yeah, so if anybody comes, we want to make sure that we, you know, we mention you. Sometimes, sometimes this broadcast just whew, gets away from us, and we don't want to forget the important things. And we couldn't have a show without you guys. So we thank you very much. So speaking of thank yous, I want to thank. We had it's really interesting. We're going to be doing some giveaways tonight, and um, of course, we're going to be do the donor giveaway. Those people in the last three months who have donated over either that period of time or in one donation, uh, um, either $100 or it added up in three months to $100 to our... Um, and for every $100 donated, you have a, you have a, a pick. I have a yeah, and we have, you have the, your choice of three paintings. And uh, the first person will get their choice of three. The, we're actually going to pick out three winners. Um, and the first, first person gets first pick. first pick. Second person gets obviously the the pick the of the two. two. The last person gets the whatever the other two didn't, didn't <laughs> pick, right? So you know, so you have you have chance you know, that you got chances to win. The Salvador a paint company has offered some more uh you know, a really nice uh selection of a paint in a kit. Here it is if John wants to come down to our uh desk. And here's the, oh, the large tube tonight. Large tube. It's, it's the large tube. Oh, that's this one. Sorry, the yep. large no, tube. No, you had it. I had it, right? These are the, <laughs> large, these see, are the you large see the tubes. big red label right there in the middle that says large tubes? You know, John complains <laughs> that people don't read it. I think I think he's frustrated because I'm probably one of those people. It's oh, in bright my. red letters, and I'm going, where does it say that? I don't see it. That little, hit the X, what X? The one up in the right-hand corner. What X, X, what X? What are you talking about? Oh. That one, and finally he just gets the mouse and says, that one. <laughs> just like, oh, that one, didn't see that. Obviously oh, not. My, oh, my, oh, my. So anyway, we're doing the large tubes. That'll be fun. And um, you're gonna got, you guys are going to have a good time with this. Someone will win this from our live participating audience in the uh, and if we get how many likes do we need to start our giveaways? Our uh, three hundred likes. So people get that thumb. Let's let's give okay. it that likes. Okay. Get those likes out of the way early. And then this is kind of exciting, you guys. I, um, one of our uh, viewers loved the giveaways so much that they bought something and sent it to us, and said, "Would you give away this on your show?" So this is these are the Protone canvas panels from Jerry's. There's three that's of them. That's what we did the last marathon on. That, that, that's what we did the last marathon on. And then this is the newest brush from Silver Brush Company. They sent me two, and I got to tell you, I love these. No, they, they really sent you one. Well, they sent two, one for you and one for me, but you scarfed mine. I already. did. I scarfed John's <laughs> two and said, order more. These are fantastic. I love this. It's a it's an angle brush. It's three-eighths inch, slightly stiffer, 
Fabulous. It's a bristle on bristles. Bristol on bristles. It's a short handle bristle on bristles silver brush. Love that. So <coughs> somebody will win that. that. Yep. And of course the painting we're doing tonight. Woo! Wow, right? Are we gonna be here all night or what? So I mean, and uh we're doing an Italian balcony. And I'll tell you more stuff as we go on. We got some exciting things to show you. Oh, somebody's going to win, um, and I'll tell you, there's more stuff to win, too. So, stay, bear with us. So, I found okay, wait, this... wait, wait. Before you get too much further, a couple comments are going around the palette that's over there. This is our Stay Wet palette. If you could slightly move it up a... Yep, yeah, and, and, uh, and... Oh, oh, perfect, my queenness. There's the Stay Wet palette. Now, uh, what we... we've done here is this is a... I'm reusing one of the palette papers. They said you can use them more than once, but I flipped it over because the other side really, really has a lot of color on it. It's just stained. I soaked it again, and nothing came through, nothing in the water. It looked good. So we're going to see what happens. And you'll see the golden tubes on the top. We use golden titanium white when we want the, the whites. Yep. Salvador's white still not quite there, better than it was the first time we used it. They did listen to us and they upgraded it. Yeah, so it matches a lot of other people's white, so we can't complain. Yeah, so um, because anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and do a fast. Um, you got that facing down the right way, right? Uh, I think so. I'm going to do a fast, you take it, you want to fast trace on here just to make sure that it's working. Oh, yeah. Okay. So uh, this is just your. Uh, um, um, Sorrel transfer paper, and uh, uh, this is in, it's in the larger sheets this time because I couldn't find a little one. I'm just going to put it down here like this. Now, when you're doing anything with buildings, you want to make sure that you have the sides of your image uh, parallel to the sides of your canvas. Otherwise, your buildings will come out crooked and the whole painting will look weird. And you won't know why. Yes, yes, and yes. So you want to make sure you do that. And um, I just, I think I can, it's a little awkward with all this paper here, but we'll just, since there's nowhere to tape then, but um, we'll see what we can, because here's the, here's the edge of my canvas right there like that. Yeah, I can do that. That ought to be, probably ought to be good enough. All right, so then I want like a little straight edge thing here. Uh, the reason we got cinnamon sent, my daughter Cinnamon the Archer uh, uh, sent, um, sent me a couple of these stay wet palettes and it took me a while to get around to using them because you got to boil they, you want the, want you to uh, boil the the paper for what 15 minutes 15 minutes and so you know it's, it's a little prep time and we always don't have it but i'm telling you what we've had paint last a month mm. no kidding so it's been, very, it's, it's been very good we like it so um i just so thank you miss cinnamon so thanks for sending it. In case any of my grandkids are out there, Linda, if Linda Sue's out there, give a, a shout out to her. And uh, any of the grandkids are here, we say hi. We never know, but if they are, hi kids. How's that? So we're gonna say hi to them. And uh, this is just, I just, this is an easy thing to. I, if you don't have one of these little uh, triangles, they're so nice. You line up the bottom and uh, to the bottom of your canvas, and then. This line here has to be straight. Be perpendicular. Yeah. So Big you, word. yeah, and and you you get the and also it's just to it give you a nice surface to. Kelly would like to say, Ginger and John, I didn't get to thank you last week, but I won the cigar downloadable lesson. I wanted to send a big thank you. I am halfway done. We'll send a pick when finished. Oh yeah, and listen, I'll tell you what. Um, be sure that you're posting this in our uh, our, our Facebook club, because I'm sure everybody would love to see it. Yes and yes, and that's a Ginger Cook Acrylic Painting Club. If you, that's a free site, and uh, we just uh, it's a private uh, it's a private club in the sense that you have to um, actually go over there and you know fill out the questionnaire and sign up, and then you you get in. And that this is like um, home on the range. Never has heard a discouraging word, right? The home on the range. Uh, Acrylic Painting Club, a lot of times what's happened to people is that when they um, discover that they enjoy painting, they go to some acrylic website and they put up their artwork and someone says something so horrible that they can barely, um, it, you know, it's just, it's the trauma is too much, right? So, um, and, and you wouldn't want that. So we don't want that. So it's really nice. I, I want to give a shout out to our friend in um, Australia, um, Sylvia. She, we've, 
She sent one in for a painting in for personal art coaching the other day. It was so fast, f fantastic. We did not need particularly any uh, coaching on this. Uh, absolutely did not. We just, um, I got to tell you, I was so impressed with how well it came out. And, um, and everybody else was too. She got tons of compliments. And this is, I've watched her journey over the years of painting. And um, it's really nice to see someone that has found their artistic voice. Wow. Uh, so I've seen some people with artist, finding their artistic voice. This window's not going to go in there. It's just busy. It takes your eye off. We're just going to not have that window there. We're not going to put the furniture because you can't see the furniture and the table between all the railings. It's way too busy on this size of printing. Yeah, so we're not good. So we're just, we're, 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 what can I eliminate and not ruin the effect? That's what you're asking. What can I take away and not ruin the effect? Yes and yes. So I think I'm just going to go with that. I think that's all we're going to do. I'm going to ad-lib the rest of it. If you're wanting to know where the traceables are for this lesson, acrylic painting with gingercook.com. Look for them up maybe tomorrow. And you must uh, be a, a basic supporter and up. The $4.95 a month membership gives you access to all of the YouTube Lessons for 2020 and the 2020 and 21. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, Since 2020. I'm going to show you right away what one of these um, nifty brushes are. I'm going to take some white paint. And the first thing I want to do is paint this umbrella in before I do anything else. I don't want to lose it. I don't want a light color here like that. And, um, well, let's paint that white. And uh, uh, this we're just going to keep on going. We know this is a straight line right here. So just bring this on down like that and just come up here like this. Um, that's interesting. It's interesting in the photograph. Do you guys notice something? Because it's interesting. When I look at the bigger one, you can see what I'm talking about. The this side of the because of the angle of the shutters is actually bigger than that side yes you see that it wouldn't really be in real life and um not if you're looking square on because we're, cause we're not right. looking square on so i'm going to widen this one because uh i think it's weird what do you use to do to boil the water for the palette i use the plastic tray itself and if you just put the palette paper in there and boil and put boiling water on top of that. You don't actually keep it boiling for no, that. No, 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 no. You don't have to keep it boiling. You just put hot water on top of it. Okay. There, for there 15, you go. At the least th 15 minutes. Longer doesn't hurt it, which is amazing. I left it in there for an hour because I got busy and it cooled it off. And then the sponge, you just do that under the sink and just wring it out. And you wring it about halfway. So it's just damp when you put it in the, in the tray. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, it, but I mean, there's some prep time involved, you know. And some of us don't mind that. I know. <laughs> I I can see why it was never. I was never a big fan of fifteen minutes of fooling around with something before I can start <laughs> painting. So I mean, I think it's the the socks oh. folders delight. But I have to say, I love the fact that I was working on a portrait, and um, I needed to come back and make some changes. And it was like three weeks later. I'd just been staring at it, and um. Guess what? The paint was the colors were all there. I could go back have the same it's colors. It was great. It. Just kept going with it. So nice. I gotta tell you, there's something to be said for that. So, um, all right. So that's the inside of this door. That's these shutters, which are gonna be kind of squared off down here at the bottom. And uh, we'll just bring this one down. Because they're ending here. Okay, so that's this is balcony. Going back like this against the wall. And um, let's see, what did we decide we ended up with? Just this, a little bit of balcony this way. So what I want to do now is I'll take some, want some like this is like a, a green and a turquoise color. And I want sort of a turquoise blue green color. And I'm going to go ahead and just paint these um, shutters in. Down. Just put the first layer in the shutters, and that's just a little bit of green and and um, 
in blue. If you were using um, just phthalo blue, you'd add a little yellow to it. And uh, maybe a bit of white, but I mean, this is the first, this is our first tone and we've got sort of just a purple canvas. That's what we're doing here. And I'll come under here and like I say, we're making a few adjustments. I just wanted to kind of lay this out the way I wanted it. And uh, yeah, we'd like to thank Sandy for the donation that came in through the PayPal system and she's in the running for the next quarter's paintings already. Wow. All right. Well, yeah, we'll do three more uh, giveaway paintings for that. This we'll tell you what they are on our next broadcast. Well, soon. Yeah. It may not be right by next broadcast. Well, we're going to try. We'll <laughs> do what we can, right? Is it better just to say soon? I know. But they, I just... <laughs> you promised the world and we do, don't always make the world. Just well, saying. Well, this is your pragmatist for sure, John. No, I'm a realist, my loveness. Oh, well, that too. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take a little bit of the burnt sienna and a little white. Come in here and put this floor in here. You're really not going to see much of this, but I'm going to go ahead and put the floor of the balcony in. It's so much more. And then I want to just put this little brush. Let's see, what do we know we want back here? We want something really dark. So if we take some blue and magenta... Right next to here, that would be pretty dark, wouldn't it? A little bit of magenta and say blue, maybe some red. I want this very dark back here. That's our um, inside of yes, our doorway. Yes, definitely stain the brushes. But again, it doesn't affect the, you know, if you go back to white after you've washed and everything, the stain is, it's stained. It doesn't come off. Yeah, no, it's a great brush. You know, don't don't care well, if you all, get all Listen, are you asked to do something. I don't ever give a rip if anybody gets one. I love it. I'm just sharing this with you. <laughs> don't buy one. Buy one. I don't make any money if anybody buys one. I'm just we don't care. They it's but for me, it's one of the best brushes I've found in a long time. But just sharing that, right? I always feel obligated to share that with you guys. Eric, thank you for the donation. Came in through Super Chat. Hello, Ginger and John. I want to have ice cream sundae on the balcony. <gasps> oh, Eric, that now you're making good. us feel bad here because I am I know. Wouldn't that be nice? That would be lovely. Just so lovely. So this is a little bit of yellow oxide and a little bit of white in there. And we're just, we don't want it all one color, but we're going to kind of lighten up this this old stucco wall here. I'm just pretty fast underneath here like that. Can we that. still enter the $100 donation auction? It's a, it's, a not, it's, a, um, it's a drawing. And yes, you can. It'll be on the next quarter. We're doing, we're doing them quarterly. We're basically, we're doing it. It's not really quarterly because we're doing it. We're not okay. running it through um, uh, December. So we're going to do it like three times a year. Because we started off in, in March. We do March, March, April, May. We do June, July, August. Yeah. So we do it three times a year. So it's quarterly, but not all quarters. See? And, and this is a ruby satin silver angle brush, the short uh, 5 8 inch. And surprisingly, I'll tell you a little secret about these brushes, these angle brushes. It's like when you go to... Um, do a very, very thin line with these. Even the wide ones, you can do that. You can get like thin grasses. You don't, sometimes people think if you need a really, really thin line, you need to have a really, really tiny brush. And sometimes that's true, but you can use a thing like a dagger brush. This will give you a really nice thin line. These are nice to have. Um, depending on how long a line you're doing, that, that's as interesting, isn't it? Because if you're doing a, um, very, very long line, um, then a brush like this is good. If you're trying to do a short, skinny line, a brush like this might be better. And that's just what I personally found, right? So um, I'm going to put a little orange in there. It's just, just kind of put a little color in this. All right, so this is what I found. The reason we're doing this um, on a board today is when we do the flowers, we're going to do texture. We're going to have a 3D effect with these flowers, and and I and I can't do that if um. um so the winner of this will have to be patient as it dries. Yeah, so it'll take. Yeah, because we you know got to do that. So all right, so here's some um, layer two of the balcony. 
That would be the um, umbrella. umbrella. Well, no. <laughs> we knew what you were saying, though. I know what I was saying. Absolutely. We just said, talk and chew gum, too. Guess <laughs> not well, but try not to bite my tongue here. If you had to walk at the same time, we'd really be in trouble. I've got a little bit of yellow oxide in this, uh, this one. And um, but I want to make sure I have that. And then that there's a little top thing up here, like that kind of a little curved top. It does that. That's cute. Isn't Ooh, it? an Oreo bled blizzard. Uh, Eric, if you're making the run, I'll take one. Oreo blizzards. It's a DQ, baby. Oh my gosh. Gosh. How good would that be? Well, I'm Eric says you. he's going to make the run. Oh, wow. Okay. So, all right. So, we're just going to go over that. All right. So, now I want to come back to the other brush. Where did I put that? Didn't I put the other? Oh, here it is. So the inside of this, believe it or not, is sort of a, it's it's a white and it's got a blue. Now, I don't know why you wouldn't believe that, but it's, it's sort of a blue color. <laughs> you well, have a photograph. Uh, well, yeah, but people might just see that as, perceive that as all white. And because it's under shadow here, it's, um, it's an off white, which is in this case, we're doing it kind of a light blue color. Okay. And we'll just put that in. We just very carefully put a little notch there. There you go. In like so. Yes, yes, and yes. Now I want another coat of this color on the. There's some drapes in here that are in in this um, doorway here. There's also some drapes, and so let's put a little bit of blue. A few little. I don't know, like some folds or something. Uh, let's just do something with this. Just for now. Just it, Now we'll have to go back and put the actual door on, but this kind of works, yeah? Okay. Hey, I'd right. like to thank Vicky for the super chat that came in. Thank you, Ginger and John. I won the whiskey and cigar tutorial last week. <gasps> oh, that is so You're super. Great super. lesson. Okay, so now we've, we, we're we ready for another coat on the wall, yes? Uh, no, on these doors, yes and yes? This is the kind of thing where you need that. We'll, uh, we'll add the, that blue and green, but we'll put a little white with it this time and brighten this up, okay? So this is it. You see how much brighter that is? And uh, we're just going to do that. Okay. And uh, there we go. This next next light color. Uh, the nice thing about it is you don't really want, you want a damp brush with your paints. You don't want a real wet one. And particularly with the Salvador paints, you don't want a real wet brush. You want to have a damp one. And um, the, you don't even have to dip your brush in the water because these, this uh, stay wet thing really keeps the... The stay wet thing. Palette thingy keeps, keeps the... <laughs> you know, he's just, you're so accurate, right? Anyway, keeps it... Um, keeps it happy and then I want this to be there'll be a little shadow under this um under this umbrella so it'll be a little bit darker right here where the umbrella is I think I want to okay so we'll just say that there's that all right so we can kind of laying it out and that's one of the things that you've got to have a little patience for because when you're laying stuff out it um it, don't get too perfect when there you go write this down don't get so perfect when you're laying it out yeah, just kind of be general. Go general. Generally, there's a blue here. There's a white here. There's a wall. There's a wall here. Go general. And and you want to do that because um. Oh, let's see. Let's do a little bit of the orange here. Um. You're gonna make yourself crazy if you try to make it, uh, perfect right away. And here's what happens with your paint, you guys. Here's what happens. The um. One layer of paint sticks to the another another one. And if you keep going over wet paint with wet paint, oftentimes you can end up inadvertently erasing what you've done. I've done that. Have you? Yep. Yeah, I mean and it's easy to do. So you get your brush too wet or you keep going over it. So the idea is to put down a load of paint and then dry it. Build it up. And build up the layers. Absolutely. You build it up rather than try to do it all at once. 
And in oil painting, they, they do that uh, for different reasons, but they do that even in oil painting. They do these thin layers and then get thicker. Oil painting oil paints can actually crack on you if you get it too thick at once. But um, again, the, the idea is that, the, you know, you get go thinner and then you build up. Hey, I'd like to thank Joanna for the donation that came in through Super Chat. Thank you for all you do to guide us towards finding our own artistic voice. Oh, gosh. Well, uh, That's well you're most said. welcome, and we thank you very much. That's what we want you to do, you know. Um, we don't want a bunch we, of little gingers running around. We, But we want to show you how the toys work. Yep. Like, for instance, and then there's going to be some things that you, that you paint that will be much easier to paint than, say, something else. Yes? You'll just find that you could maybe you can paint dogs and you go to paint a horse and you couldn't get a horse to paint if your life depended on it, right? <laughs> or you you're you're painting some very beautiful still life of say books and then you go to do an impressionistic painting and it's not working. You ever you've got to think of this as a language and you're translating new dialects all the time. There's going to be eventually a dialect that you find so comfortable. And it's going to be sort of like like pigeon English. It's going to be sort of like a pigeon conglomeration of everything you've learned. So if you will expand yourself when you're starting out, I had one student who was with has been with me was with me in, in person for years. I could never get her to copy anything. None of the old masters. She wouldn't do it. She always was wanted to do her own thing, and it took her forever to learn anything because she didn't benefit from. Uh, <laughs> I'm telling you what. It's really tough to write the great American novel if you've never read one. That's true. And I tried um, it often. you know, or the great Swedish novel or whatever it is. You know, you gotta you gotta um you gotta have a, a sense of that. And uh for instance, as and, and those who like for instance in Europe, people will tell you those who speak a lot of different languages, they'll tell you that once you know one um language, then the next one's a little easier to learn, and particularly the ones that are based off of Latin, right? They're based off of, you know, originally were Latin. Uh, th those guys can, once they got one down, then they, they're just nailing the next ones, yeah? Because it's, it's real easy for them. Well, it's the same thing here. Once you get one of these, you get some of it down. And it's, we talked the other day, I was talking to a lady who was sending her artwork in for personal art coaching, and she was worried she was wasting my time because she found seeing patterns extremely difficult. Well, you know what? That's all right, because you'll eventually see them. You have to, you'll see them, right? Uh, uh, you will see the patterns, but, uh, well, there was an interesting, um, what did I read somewhere where somebody was doing this as an experiment? Um, they, um, see, how did this go? They were trying to teach people a new skill. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know what the skill is. This is a very uh, a clever language teacher, and she was teaching immigrants that came to the country. She was teaching them how to speak English, okay? And, um, and so what she discovered, okay, was that um, uh, what she discovered was that um, if people had came into the class with such preconceived ideas about um, about learning a language like a everybody can learn I was never good at this in school I don't know how to learn a language I suck at this you know those kind of things you know I've got a few of those myself you know when it comes to learning languages okay so uh, what she discovered was is that people came into this in with that and um, um let me just wipe this brush off because I don't want that much paint on there, but I want some of this. Just, I'm just kind of using the this yeah, part of my little, brush little to scrubbing just, action. A little scrubbing action and not use doing too much. I want some of this brown to show through. Hey, we'd like to thank uh, Sydney for the donation that came in through the PayPal system. Oh, thank you so much. So anyway, so she had a group of students that wanted to learn English, and some of them had to for their jobs, right? And what she did, and I thought this was so clever, what she did was she gave, when they sat down in the class, she gave everybody a new name, a name tag, and a short bio of who they were and where they were from and what they did for a living. 
Nothing to do with them. And she says, while you're in this class, if your name was John, you're going to answer to Frank, and uh, and uh, you're a mechanic from uh, Ecuador or something. And what she discovered was, over the years of teaching, that um, uh, people could learn a language. Frank didn't have any hang-ups, okay, about learning a language, and he learned it much quicker. People got the language, learned the language twice as fast when they became another person when they did it. So those of you who are out there teaching anybody anything might be a thought, right? But, you know, so, because you're, you know, you, maybe you were the kid in school that um, uh, the, the teacher, you know, you know, said, well, why are you, why are you drawing? You, you give this up. You'll never be good at any good at that, right? So if you were told that as a kid, um, then maybe uh, uh, maybe you wanted to. Um, then you're finding painting or you know painting harder because you still have that old feeling. Well, I I couldn't do this, and you know this isn't me, right? When a, so anyway, just a thought. Try being somebody else and learning it. Pretend to be somebody else. Write yourself a new bio and be that person for the day you're trying to learn to do something. How's that? That's a great idea. I think it was. Tammy's saying, I'm painting on cotton fabric. How do I seal it? Is, he, is that a t-shirt? Is that stretched? What are you doing with it? I would probably go to Golden Opens. They make a fabric paint to seal it. or So you can paint on fabric. But, yeah, I mean, I painted on t-shirts, and I just use my regular acrylic paint. But they, you always want to wash it first. Get the sizing out. You want to wash it first. You need a little bit more details on that one. Yeah, so you want to definitely want to watch wash it first, okay? So what we're going to do here is I'm going to think, did I put any purple out here? I'm just going to get some purple. I don't know where that purple went. I'm just going to get some purple and put some out. Um, put some purple somewhere. I have something that's... Yeah, I just need a little purple somewhere, you guys. All right. So what I want to do here... We're going to do this fairly quickly here. I think Everybody. Steffi's right. GAC 900. And you got someone for fabric. Do you see what I mean about the nice thin line you can get with a brush like this? Even the size of that brush. That's why you wouldn't be using the new one with stiffer bristles. Uh, not for this. Okay. Well, I haven't had a chance to play with it. Too bad. You lose. <laughs> You snooze, you lose. So we're just going to do that. Susan uses fabric medium when I paint on fabric. Again, you want to wash it. If you're doing t-shirts and then... Uh, oh, um, I think Michaels and so does uh, Hobby Lobby. They sell something called a t-shirt form. It's a piece of cardboard cut out in the shape of a t-shirt. And you stick it under the T-shirt and then paint on it. Um, oh, she's she's doing a, she's painting on quilting cotton. Interesting. I washed it first. That's good. GAC nine hundred. Yeah, go to uh, Golden Paint and look up a GAC nine hundred and see what the nine hundred does for sure. I know we don't use that. We don't go that high when our with our playing stuff. I haven't played with that yet. Uh, the queen is keeping me busy. Yeah, well, anyway, it's good to it's good to know things, right? It is. Again, now we're using a stay wet palette. We happen to have the smaller, I think it's a nine by twelve, made by the Masterson people. Stay wet, yeah. airtight palette. And uh, we're thoroughly enjoying it. The palette paper is not that much more than the regular gray paper that we've been using. And the key with this is you're not using as much because you know. Yeah, like this paint said, lasts. Out. We had some paint last for a month. Yeah. So it's just interesting. It does we, take a We're just showing work. you. You know, we I I was very resistant to even play with this because, uh, but boy, I, I love say. the fact that I can go back in four or five days and work on the same painting and the paint's still good. Yep. And I think about a friend in Colorado there, um, 
JC. JC in Colorado, and I know that uh, that's something she she could appreciate. Yes. I would think so. All right, let's just see a little bit of gray here. Let's see. All right, so I want to just come under here like this and put a little blue with that. Yeah, boy, I'll tell you what, this a little bit of paint goes a long way in something like this. Doesn't it, though? It's just a little bit of paint goes so, so far. There's my... Um, uh, uh, there we go. So then, I, I, uh, for instance, like I know I want, I want a little mark here. I want this to be lighter still. We'll just come up here with a new layer of light here. That's nice. I like that. Whatever this was, that's pretty. It's got a little blue tint to it. Kind of, it's kind of aged this wall a bit, right? Never have too many layers of stuff like that. Okay, so now um, let's do another little coat of the orange on the uh, on inside of the umbrella. See, it's that's been dry, so it's hooked. It's, it's put a little yellow with it. Um, and you see, the second coat is so much better. And if you're using basic paints, you might need to do three coats. Just saying, if you're using some sort of basic or student grade paint, you might want to do, that's all right, still do them. All right, so with that drawing, let me just show you. John, let's take a minute. I'm going to show you. Um... Okay, wait, 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 wait. You you can get it ready, but I want to show, I'm going to share, I just, I just loaded this. No, what are you? This, I am sharing an image from Gwen. Can I drive it? Oh, sure, go ahead. I'll silence you for a moment. Okay, why the queen's being silenced, which isn't very often I get to do that. Uh, Gwen sent in an email, which I wish I still had handy. I'm going to find. She uses our quintessential color mixing guide. And when she comes up with a recipe that Ginger uses, she says, and she shows how she um, actually applies what she, you know, the colors she's making. She actually puts in a little baby thumbnail. I just thought that was so cool to do. That's a cool idea to do on the quintessential color mixing guide. So I just thought I would share that. And thank you, Gwen, for sharing it with us. You're back, my queenness. Cool. John, what is Ginger's absolute favorite still life landscape portrait genre to paint? Flowers. It's water and flowers. Those are your two choices. Wonder if the Stay Wet palette keeps your paint wet when you're outside. Yes, it would, and you probably have to mist the top, though. Baby fine mister to keep the top. Jimmy makes an interesting comment. I love my Stay Wet palette. I keep mining palette in the fridge when I know I wasn't going to get back quickly. My studio is only climate controlled if I'm in it. Well, that's clever. John, where do you store the Stay Wet palette when you have leftover paint on it? I just let it sit there. Just stack it up with just the close other it. it has a lid. has a lid. Like a Tupperware lid. It has a lid. Yeah, it seals it all up. It's airtight sealed. You do want to check you want to check your moisture on the sponge periodically though. We, I did let one dry out just to see what would happen. And it does dry out. But it dries it from the edges so the paint in the middle was still wet. Yeah, it just didn't hurt to mist it before you put it away. Yeah, you want to make sure you want to check your sponge check your sure sponge that, health. Make sure is. that sponge because there's a sponge underneath this. Yeah, we just keep it on our desk. We don't do anything different with it. John, could you give us the name of the new brush? It's the Bristolon Ruby Satin Silver Angle Brushes. Creating. And apparently Jerry's is the only one that has them right now. Now Jerry's Artorama, and they're $2 cheaper than the Ruby Satin because they're trying to get people to use them. 
Is chat moving really fast tonight or are my eyes tired from work? No, it's moving fast tonight. We have a talkative group. The sponge should be wet and not dripping. That's correct. They said it's half full. So I just squeeze it out until it feels about half full. No, I didn't measure it, but I was going to. Because you know I would. Measure what? How much how much water it holds and then how much it should stay in it. It sounds better than a cake container. Yes, it's definitely better than a cake container. We had that first. Oh yeah, no, it's just- and That it's would just last for like overnight when we knew we'd be back the next day. But when we work on this portrait, I mean, it was three weeks later, she's still making changes. Well, that's one of my tricks is I'll sit and live with something for a while and look at it and see, and I'll give myself, you know, I'll look at it and see, and I'll look at my photo, that my reference photo, and I'll look at it and sometimes, Sometimes you just have to see something a little bit. Oh, I see moderator Lynn has joined us from the Canadian front. Oh, hi, welcome, Lynn. Welcome back, my lady Canadian. Carol makes a good point. If your paints get too wet and they start running, you have too much water on your sponge. How's that doing over there with the... Fine. Okay. What's the tape Ginger's using? That is acrylic. Uh, that is um, that's artist a, tape. Is this called artist tape? Doesn't pull the paint up when you do it. Isn't that a nice trick? I mean, really, when you think about that, that's sort of a nice, nice trick to do. Yes and yes. You should always have artist tape. We have it in various sizes, as you can see. You pull it and then line up what you're trying to do. Just pull it. Pull, pull it taut. Pull it tight. Taught. Yep. One rush and scrape your finger down one edge. And um, let's see, let's do this like this. Does yeah, anybody put you have to do about you gotta do a couple layers anyway, so this is a good way to to get your straight your straightness. Your straight lines, right? Uh, Ronnie's asking a good question. Does anyone does anyone put pennies in the stay wet palette to prevent mold? Uh, I've heard hyd hydrogen peroxide and well, that's what we would use. Uh, some people use Lysol. I've never tried a penny. And would you need an old copper penny or the zinc pennies will work? Penny's interesting. Looks like we're looking for 13 more thumbs up to get that uh, link. Well, that chat is flying by. You guys are a talkative group today. We want the link for the giveaways. We need 13 more thumbs up. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe yet, go ahead and do it now while they're breaking the action. I don't know what you think there's what breaking the action you speak of. We're, we're busy That's what they always me. say. When they're breaking the action, do this. Well, says, you're not blabbing. Says these things. Well, no, I'm just focused on getting this little line down here. I know that. Pretty straight. Look, see? Oh, that's gorgeous. Look at that. That's it. You can't, and here's the thing. If you want to be cheap, you can use the tape over again. You can put it somewhere because this side has paint on it, but the other side doesn't. So technically you could use it again. Yeah. You know? So she leaves it laying around and never uses it again. So I have to go clean it all up. So. Well, but you could. You, you could. Know, the yeah. point of it is if, if you could, frugal, John. You the could. The old copper penny. Yeah, that's what I thought, Ronnie. You'd have to have the old copper penny to do it. Let's get another layer of white on Canada here. Canada doesn't have pennies anymore? I didn't realize that. So what do you guys do? Round everything one way or the other and hope it's on the right side of the roundness? On the right side of the roundness? Yeah. Hey, it looks like we got our 300. Thank you people for going for that thumbs up. We do appreciate it. It lets Google, Google and YouTube know that they should be sharing our goodies. 
Absolutely, that's fantastic. Okay, so let's say we're just kind of getting in the baseline. It takes a little bit to do this, but it's worth the. This is where you take your time to do, do the. Um, um, you know, you do you know you do your layers, then you can do your tape. Um, one thing, whenever you do something like that, you can always do like a little dark line underneath it. Just you can always come up here and do a little dark line here like that. It doesn't have to look perfectly taped. That, you know, you want it to look like a painting, but still, you got you got a little leeway here that you can you can do that with. Now we're going to go ahead and um, uh, I, I like that little brown outline on this. I'm going to go ahead and put that back. That's nice on the on the umbrella. So now the next thing to do is to put the um, the balcony in. And um, so that's what so I want to do. basically you're painting from back to front. Uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm painting from back to front and just going to put the, you know, we've got the, put a little bit of the balcony in here. And I don't, don't need a lot of paint here. I just maybe a little bit of this um, burnt sienna, a little white, and I'll lighten this up again here like this, where this is. And then maybe just come along in here like that. Just something. A little bit more burnt sienna. There you go. There's our balcony. Okay, so then what what I want to do with the balcony is um, I need a nice um, straight line. I need to f decide the height of the balcony. At this moment, I want to take a, a sh shout out to um, uh, one of our gifts that came in the mail a couple weeks ago, and we forgot to get it upstairs to tell you, and I'm so excited. Uh, this is from Debbie. And um, she writes that um, she uh, just loves our our channel and, and we've changed her life and she appreciates it very much. And she sent us some of the Conda, Conda pencils. Look at that. Some of these beautiful uh, pencils that we use to um, the chalk pencils. Um, that we constantly use. Yeah, these are what we use. And she sent me a whole set of... And look at that. Isn't that great? Debbie, thank you. That's just... I will think of you always when I use these and uh, just I'll take one out right now just um I just because I want to thank you very much for that now I know that for instance um I'm just going to make a little mark here where I think that the top of the um I want the top of my uh, balcony then I can use this uh like so so I'm saying that's where the top is. So if I use, this is where these T-squares are, are, and T-squares and triangles are so handy because if you line, you see this, if you line this side up on the side of your canvas, this has to be straight. This is good for ocean. Anytime you need a straight line, if you've got one straight line anywhere, then you can build off of it with this, right? So we're gonna say that here's our, where our balcony is going. Yes and yes. See, isn't that nice? Now, then, um, I had earlier today, I had a, um, a uh, marker. This is a Posca pen, right? And I can use the same thing here, too. I could, I could tape this, all right? I can take tape this or but um let's see I think I can I know that's straight so let's just let's just be the last of the big spenders and draw it in there okay there's my nice line for the balcony all right people always say how do you get the nice line and um Use a very fine brush called a Posca pen. Yeah, so then I'm going to go ahead here and bring this out and down like that. There's my balcony. I'm just going to widen that right there like that. That's the edge on this one. Okay. So um, uh, there will be uh, here that that's, that's our biggest one, and then we've got some uh here and so probably the easiest thing for me to do is to just 
Uh, if you want to do them a little evenly, you can, uh, let's see, uh, can chalk them in if you want. You could just, even if, let's see, let's do a different color, though. So what am I going to do? I need a different color just so I know where I'm going to chalk it. Let's just say I'm going to just kind of measure these a little, right? Kind of eyeball them in and do this. You don't need to have as many as in the photograph. You're just trying to, you know, and then you, you can do the same thing here. If you're saying this came, this is coming out here and then down. As they come towards you, they're not curving quite as much. All right, so I've got it, and then you're going to have, there's a something back here that it's got some pots and stuff in the way, so we're not we're not going to talk about what happens back here on the balcony, uh, not because we're ashamed of what happened on the balcony, we just don't have to mention it, because um, um, we, we're going to cover this all up with plants, yes and yes. So while we're doing that, let's take a minute and draw for our, um, our three pictures, John. We can't. No. Oh, the three pictures? Yeah, we can, that we can do. We're going to draw for, we had, if, for those of you who were so kind, go back this out, I need that to dry for a minute. Yeah. Those of you who were so kind as to um, uh, donate over the last three months, even if it was at $10 a time or whatever, up to $100, every time you reach $100, you got another entry into this, into our, um, um, into our drawing for these three paintings. So we have the uh, pansies. We have the coffee, crackle, crackle coffee cup and book. These are eight by 10. And then we have this uh, garden with the bridge. All right. So this actually is a, um, a tutorial on YouTube if you don't win and you want to paint it yourself. This is an academy lesson. And I think, I'm trying to think, I think this is a YouTube lesson. It might be academy too. So those are the three pictures, coffee cup, the bridge, and the pansies. And how many people do we have entered, John? There was a total of 12 people. 12 people. And 20. But you got an entry 20, for every, every yeah. $100. dollars every, So we have a total of 29 entries. So the first person, that, the first name we call, they have their choice. And the second name will have the choice of the two and then the three, and we'll let you know. Uh, what that would be when we'll, we will contact you. So who's our first winner, John? First winner, I use random.org to generate my number. And it's on a little spreadsheet. Whoops, got to get the right spreadsheet. Number one is number eight is Jackie... Jacqueline Brennan. Jacqueline Brennan. Okay, so Jack, congratulations. We will email you. You'll you'll have your choice of the one of uh, either all these uh, ones. You know the three. Okay. So who's number two? Wait a minute. Someone can't open the link. Well, whose link? John, we need a minute. The link was wrong. Hold on. We're well, let's just pattern. finish this, and then no, let's just finish this, and okay. then they can all go right. back. We're we're going to finish We'll come this. back on the link. We're not going to do anything about the link right now for today's drawing. We're, we're finishing this. Got to finish this first. Second one goes to number 16, uh, Jan Haunch. Jenny Haunch. All right. All right. Congratulations. Second choice. And then who gets the leftovers? That's not leftovers. They're I love three leftovers. magnificent. Paintings. So don't leftovers. Even put it that there's way. nothing wrong There's nothing wrong with you leftovers. Know, you know, so someone who else has won a painting? Original artwork for certificate and everything, Ginger Cook. That one goes to Clarice. Clarice Nash. Clarice Nash. So, you guys, we thank you, everybody. We'll have it, you know, thanks everybody for this. And anybody that donates today will be a part of the drawing for the next three months. 
and we appreciate it very much. So, um, I don't know if anybody's out there, but uh, you guys have got to be, you know, pleased. I hope you're pleased. Yes. All right. Let me go fix the form now. Don will fix the form. So congratulations, and that gave this a chance to dry. And um, well, somebody asked if the Posca pins can be removed. Uh, yeah, for if the first five minutes, uh, you can just wipe it off, which is why I gave it a minute to dry. Yes, it's acrylic paint, so it stays wet a little bit. Where where the um, other pins dry immediately, and you, you can't really get them off. No, the the dragger or all right. So that says so that's the wrong date. So let's change the date. Let's change the color. Has anybody entered it yet? Nope, they can't enter it. Won't let them run. Okay, no, no problem, people. We have people here that can take care of the situation. All right. Yep. We do. Change that to a seven. So somebody lost a week. That's all. All right. Somebody try to do it now. Well, the form will open now. Go ahead. Try it now. Try it now. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh. We're waiting. No, we done it yet. So you guys again, are be happy to note that my my iPad, my new iPad. Is that did actually work for John for his? Yeah, I scarfed it. it definitely worked. Well, it cost, apparently, it cost me a uh, a brush. That's right. It took my iPad. Well, so far it's been it's been working like a champ. All right. Let's see if there, anybody's doing any entries yet. Let's see. No. Karen says it worked. There yep, you go. Look at that yep. with the tape. I used that tape again. Look at that with the tape. Oh, there you've got great. the straight that's umbrella straight pole. I mean, you know, people say they can't paint a straight line. Well, why would you want to? You don't have to. You can this part of the pole will be under it'll the be form in the is now officially working. We were just testing everybody. See who was paying attention, right? Absolutely. We like to do that once in a while. So um all right, so now we've got so again, we'd like to thank everybody that participated in the scholarship fund last quarter. And again, we have a new quarter up and running. Yes and yes. So. And I do keep track of them throughout the quarter. So if you get enough, you're in the in the runnings. And we we'll be picking the next paintings soon and share them with you all right did i miss anything besides that so i guess we need to get a hold of the first person first to have them pick and then we'll let you know Got some pots on the balcony. Now I believe now the artistic is coming in because that many pots were on that balcony. Yes, they were. There's a lot. Are they? Yeah. So oh. just quiet over there. They were. There were a lot of pots on here. Guess what? There's just nothing but pots all over here. They don't look as pretty as your pots. But, well, that, that retrieves you a little bit. Keep it up. Maybe you can save yourself. <laughs> your pots are so much better there you go that's better that's better keep it up when it comes to a flower pot i think of no other thank you it really wasn't stephanie that screwed it up i forgot to turn the form on because i copied the previous weeks and we turn them off after the show so, 
Steffi, once again, save the day. How secure is a raffle site since we are asking for address and phone number? Well, that's your choice to enter or not. It's on a Google server. How secure is Google? In this day and age? We, we don't know. We don't know. I bet if I look up your name, I could find your address, though. I could probably find your phone number in the phone book. I remember one time I was working at another company. The person said they wanted something shipped to them. They wouldn't give me their address. And we went around and around, and I, I brought them up on Google. I said, well, you live here. You live on a cozy sack, and you have a great backyard with a forest. And she goes, oh, here's my address. Yeah, don't, that was, don't that wasn't now, us. That was it. some company years ago you worked for. And that was like 20 years ago, right? Yeah. You know? But, you know, listen, we... We... We, we just do this as something kind of fun. I don't know of anybody else that's doing it like we do with the, you know, give, you know, doing this and, you know, but certainly we wouldn't. If you're not comfortable, don't enter. That's Absolutely. what I would tell you. Please we don't, don't do anything with the information other than contact the people that want. And, and, and at our own expense, mail stuff out to you. But gosh, don't enter if you're worried. Yeah. Everybody else will be excited. God, they're not entering. I get more chance for me, right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yes and yes yeah really the odds in the uh in the giveaway are, are pretty good i mean basically you got 30 one in 30 so because we give away a lot of stuff right yeah you know so um uh, you know, that's the now the thing about it is, is that something like this, ideally speaking, before we do anything else, you know, we just got our first layer on here, but I want to just go ahead and do the do some orange back up here on my uh, it just never hurts. Red's one of those colors, if you do it a couple times, it it's never it never hurts. To, you know, reds and oranges and stuff like that, that that absolutely never hurts. So where this is going to um, where this is going to um, work for everybody, where this um, um, this painting is going to work, right? Is um, is when we put the flowers. So right now we have just I, I think I think of this as like a skeleton of. Um, our balcony. We have a skeleton. We don't have, um, we we don't have enough um, information yet. But so when you're doing something like this, you know you're planning it out. That's that's what we've got here. Is it's kind of a neat neat skeleton. We we're just trying to keep this. Um, um, let's do that like that. Put that little top up there. Uh, so the main thing is when are we going to start adding the flowers, and that that's where it's going to get pretty now this is an interesting question and, and it has to do with perspective but patricia would like to know why do the left rails look as though they're coming out towards us and the right ones are going in um well i'm just following it's the, the way they're the, i'm following the way because that the photograph was this is how i'm following the way the photograph was right yeah it's just how it was shot it's all it's all perspective Which is a whole nother discussion. Yep, it's all perspective. All right, so. Um, the rails are really talking not too much about the rails anyway. We're just. Um, You're going to be all covered with flowers and. But I will. We, we do. I do know that, for instance, we need a little bit deeper rail here. So I'll just take the brush. And fan uh, it up a little bit. Fatten it up now that I've got like a, there you go, just fatten that up, there you go. We're going to do like that, so you just have a little fatter rail. Um, the idea, of, you know, with some of this is that we're not trying to make this so complicated that you feel you're too intimidated to paint it. That's the other thing, too, so we don't want you to... Um, give up before you start. Yeah, give up before you start, right? So just, you know, we're going to add a little bit to that. So, right, I'm going to take a... Um, uh, we've got some uh, extra heavy gel modeling paste, and I'm going to just put it on a on a plate. 
And before I do, I'd like to get some more color on these pots, though. So let's give me a second. Let me just dry these pots real quick. Go for it. All right. All right. The queen is in silent mode. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe to us yet, we'd love to have you do it. We'd love to see 100,000 before the end of the year. I don't even know where we're at. I think it's I think it's a pipe dream. I don't even know where we're at. I want to show people something. Of course, my queen. Is. Just back it out because that, that'll give that chance to just dry. I know you guys, and for those of you who are new to our channel, we have a fabulous Academy of Fine Art and Acrylic Painting, Acrylic Painting with Ginger Cook, where we have lots of large paintings and lots, lots of in-depth tutorials on how to do stuff. And on these shows, I like to introduce you to some of the new things. Like this, the the uh, painting tutorial that's going to be released this week is part of our cowboy series, and here it is. Here's the um, the uh, the cowboy boot and spurs. That's that's that will be our newest release. It will go with our. We have a western series going, and it's going to go with that. And I think think you're going to really enjoy um, this one. And then um, coming up, probably the week after, I think we decided this one, didn't we, John? Is, I think so. is our um this is from one of our old dead artists that we've done before is a lady with the veil isn't that just cool and so that's coming up in the academy wanted to share that with you think that's really cool right and um this last week we um released our newest um our newest um this was kind of we've got some different things for Father's Day, and so this is our um, newest. Uh, this was our newest uh, painting tutorial with the cards and the uh, brandy and the. John called it whiskey, but it's really cognac. But he didn't know how to spell cognac, so he called it whiskey. But anyway, that's all right. Got to go with what you know how to spell. It's, and then um, that's actually the thing I'm getting. Anyway, so we like the chips and the dice, and if you like that one, we feel like that one. Is a great companion. You may want to do too. So now's the never better time this summer than to join the academy and really find some, you know, some art that inspires you. Here's our cigar and and, and whiskey. We think that that's uh, these are the two companion pieces. We think and tonight somebody in a drawing is going to win the, uh, the downloadable lesson for the. Um, we last week we did this one. Someone will get the downloadable lesson for the cognac and cards. All right. So someone will win that tonight. So that's kind of exciting. The, not the painting, but the actual downloadable lesson. Because all our uh, lessons in the Academy are also available for a single purchase and download. You can download them at um, acrylicpaintingwithgingercook.com. You can just buy one lesson. It's all right. Don't have to, okay. So that being said, this is probably dry now. Um, I want to just make these a little bit darker. And then, uh, what so, happened to the German Shepherd dog? We haven't released over. We yet. haven't released the German Shepherd dog yet. He's still there. We've been painting months ahead. Well, not not months ahead. We we're trying to get some, get him in the queue. Yeah, we still have the German Shepherd dog. We have the cat. We have um. Got two cats. We have the tract. We have the uh, old car, in barn. It's going to be the fourth. I think that'll be in July. That the the old truck and barn with the flag. Yeah, that one's coming up. That one, we got know, so many good ones coming up. Um, how about golf bag with clubs for Father's Day? Ooh, next year. I think we shot yeah. the we shot them this year. We're done for this year for Father's yeah, Day. Yeah, we're done for this year. And you can make I'll note of that though. I like that idea. Yeah, I do too. I think that's a cute, cute idea. So let's do this one a little lighter. Uh, I'm doing the cowboy kinder down now for dad. Good choice. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to um, put in the leaves. And uh, so mm -hmm. this is we're printing on canvas board here. This is the para. This is the proton canvas board. It's um. It's actually a piece of wood with, it's not cardboard, it's a piece of wood with, um, the, it, that's got a, a sealant on it. And then uh, I mean, it's very, they're very elaborate. A set of those, and we're going out tonight to somebody, the um, 
doing that. And let me see, let me just get the palette knife here. I'll put a little of this uh, gel stuff out. Don't need much. You could, this is the golden uh, heavy, uh, uh, semi heavy gloss. Well, it's extra, extra heavy, heavy semi-gloss yeah. gel, not semi-heavy. It's a, that's an interesting thing. How are you? Well, I'm semi-heavy. Hey, I didn't say anything. I let that one slide, but I guess a semi-heavy. That's a new yeah. one, right? A semi-heavy, right? So this is what makes something like this really fun to me, anyway. Is the um, uh, let me just take a little of this and just I want a little bit something lighter right here. Ooh, a harness racing. That'd be a good one. Is Pantone light and weight for shipping? No, it's not as no, light as a it, canvas. It's, no, in fact, it, actually, we normally don't do these. It's a, it's a, it costs us a lot of money to ship this one out, actually. So, you know, so if we have to ship it overseas. Exactly I, I only did it because I wanted, to, I wanted the, um, to use the gels. Otherwise, I would use our others. But um, I don't want anything curling on me. So let's see, here's a little bit of a, some dark green, a little bit of a, some gel in that. It'll probably be twice what we normally pay. Yeah, or more, depending on where it's going. So what I'm going to do now is just uh, throw that brush away and start with another one. Throw it uh, away. I hope that, that wasn't literal. Yeah, but I don't want it. Whatever it is, I don't want that brush. It's worthless to me. All right, so we're going to do, we're going to start dotting on a flowers. And um, and using about fifty percent gel, so this will have a lot of texture and be uh, something kind of fun. This is where the patterns are going to start. And we're I started to say before you, and we appreciate all the donations. Sometimes a a thought gets lost, and because John will interrupt me and say, "Well, I want to thank someone for a donation." If we don't thank you, then we you think we don't care, and we do. But I. I I uh, almost feel, feel like I was in a thought process here um, where I, I didn't get to mention this thing about patterns. And um, patterns are key. To Seeing patterns are key to anything you're painting, all right? And um, what you need to be able to do is not just, it's not a matter of that your hand won't do what your brain's telling you. Your brain has to see the pattern first, for instance. So, um, uh, so you don't want to, for instance, when you're writing, um, um, a, 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 you know, a, a sentence, your brain doesn't think about the pattern anymore of the sentence and the letters. It just does it. Yes. It, it absolutely it just does whatever you tell it to do. Okay. But when you're painting until you've done this, until you start to get the most, me muscle memory on this um, until you start getting that now you're uh, you're you have to rely on seeing the patterns of of the plants and the flowers and stuff and then deciding where the dots go we um, for instance you don't want ice cream cones on the top of your flowers so if you have to just sit there and study the reference um Took it. Look at the reference upside down, and uh, see what that see what the reference upside down looks like, because then you're going to more likely see the pattern uh, than you would have if you just looked at it right side up. You you won't translate it, and that's your job as an artist is to translate the patterns and then figure out the color used, whether it's lighter or darker. But the shapes, how you get the shapes, is by 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 actually seeing, um, for instance, like on these flowers, there's little spaces where the some flowers are some leaves are bigger than other leaves. Yes, yes, and yes. And um, and, and uh, uh, you know, the flowers. There's a light and a dark side to a flower. Nothing is just one color. Maybe you have to change the size of your brush. To, to, to make the pattern, okay? You know when you're doing um, any kind of um, uh, uh, flowers, you start with the darkest green first. You want the darker greens, and then you want the lighter greens on top, okay? Makes, makes a lot of sense, yes and yes? 
And um, see, we're going to break up something here like that. Have some of this coming down over here. Over on this side. So, so we're just sort of get, get giving this. Uh, so ask yourself, look at the patterns. Um, is there a little tiny branch maybe? With something coming down? What's, what, where are your, you know, what, what's your, let's see, how am I going to say this? Um, cause, all right, let, let me just zoom in on this, would you, John? Do you see, do you see that these are not ice cream cone leaves? They just, there's holes in them. There's spaces. And you've got to, see, there's a little thing here and a thing here. So the, the thing of it is, is that it's not that you can't paint it. Because you can. If I told you put a dot there, now move your hand, put a dot here. Now move your hand, put a dot there. You can do that. But you have to tell your brain where you want it. Good explanation. Yes and yes. Yes and yes, John. Oh, exactly. You're not listening. You're something's happened. What's happened? I'm just following along. Okay. All right. So now. We had a question. If it does. If you're not doing it, on, if you're just doing it on a canvas and it wrinkles up, what do you do? Well, you it won't, if it's a stretch canvas, it won't. Yeah, but I'm it's, doing it on a canvas sheet, and it did. Uh, what do I do? I don't know. You could, I don't know. You could maybe try to press it between a book or something. Try to press it flat. Um. Yeah, me. You know, protect, or you could take a though. canvas sheet and glue it to a piece of cardboard before you started. That'd be another thing you could do. We had time. I could have done that. Just take a little piece of cardboard. There's the back of those canvas sheets has cardboard, right? Yeah. So you see where we're. Let's see, let's put a little white with this. And uh, uh, you know, even if it's an overcast day, there's going to be some light and dark sections to your picture. So you want to vary the greens a little bit, you know, try to do that. Maybe I want this a little darker green over here. But this is a, I think this is a good, um, see how you can vary the size of the, the, the of the, of the leaf. Okay, just, just kind of change that up around. This would be a lot of watering of plants. It all sounds like a good idea until somebody has to go out and water all these things. Now, one other thing I did see when we were in Germany years ago is they, for, for potted plants, they have something that looks like a turkey baster. And it's like a kind of a tube with a bulb on the end, and you fill it full of water, and then you stick it in your plant, and it very, in the d dirt, and it very nicely. Um, Keep some water. Keep some water, you know, for, while you're gone. I don't know how long it works. And, of course, they have little tricks now that you can do to do that. But, um, all right, let's see. I, I want to make sure that I'm leaving the dark underneath, okay? So it's, there's there's a deliberate action where I'm putting this, um, where I'm putting the, um, where I'm putting the green. And bring it down like that, okay? Patricia is asking a question. How do you know what color member you are? If you're coming from the old website, gingercooklive.gallery, and you're a VLL member, you would be a red member. If you are a wave and water person, you would be a blue member. And if you have a membership to both VLL and wave and water, red and blue make purple. You would be a purple member. If you're coming from the beginner acrylic artist and you're at the 495 supporter level, you are a orange member and the junior members are yellow at 1695. We're asking those that are on the old site to move their billing over to the new site and use the contact us form and let me know what you're doing. Is the umbrella dead center of the canvas? It is not. It's slightly to the left. 
See, this is dead center, friends. Yep. Very yeah. slightly. It is not dead center. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, we don't put stuff dead center. And if it was, we would have moved it from the picture. Okay. Here's your reference photo. There's half. So, um, about what you said. Right where I said, here's the half right here. So it's just slightly over from it. Yeah. Um, see, let's get some more up here. That's something a little lighter. You know, kind of roll your brush a little bit so that you have it just on the. So I'm going up a little lighter here on some of these leaves. And you just sort of tap these in, and it's so nice because anybody that saw what we did during the marathon, if you haven't seen it, the one we did this on the marathon, it's it's really kind of cool. And uh, you know, depending on the size and shape of what you said you have here, um, you can you can do different flowers. You know, it doesn't have to be; they don't all have to be the same. You know, just whatever you want to do. And I'll sync up to. I'll do some um, more of an olive green up here on this one. There's a little bit of the gel here. This one, I'm going to do a little bit of an olive green on the, the, these these leaves here. It's a little different plant. You can change that up a bit. And I kind of like that color here, too. So you can see we've got we haven't even put all the flowers in and uh and we've got a nice um uh array of stuff for yes and yes so i'm looking at wherever there's a light there's a dark so i'm looking at some of this and i want something a little brighter here Now that's a little bit too much paint on the brush. That's the trick. When you're doing stuff like this, and particularly as wet as my paint is, I want this lighter, but I want to, I want to, just didn't show up as well as I'd like. It acrylics dry darker, and I just like this a little bit lighter than it is. Yeah, that's better when there's less paint than I'm dealing with. Like this, there you go. I wanted those just a little bit brighter than they were. Now, ideally speaking, when you would go to um, uh, uh, when you would go to um, put the flowers on, you'd let this dry overnight. Yes, John. You, 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 just ideally speaking, that's what you'd want to do. Oh, absolutely. It's it's it's, it's dry this overnight, right? I'm going to put a little purple down in here. You know, and um, uh, let's see. Let's just do a little bit of purple on the drapes. There you go. A little bit of purple on those drapes. Okay, so now I want to put some flowers. So I'm going to be very careful, but I'm going to just take a minute and skin it over with the hair dryer. Can, we, can I ask you a question? Sure. On the right. Oh, there's no flowers here. You got it. Good thought. It's been brought up a couple of times. I didn't know if you're going to catch well, it. Well, I didn't see it, so thank you, guys. So. Yeah, I didn't see it. Now, here's the thing. If you're using the gels and you make too much, because the gels keep, you can have like little jars and maybe have just some dark green or something. If you're going to do a lot of this, I think Eric or somebody. You're gonna um, you can you can have some little containers and your gels. All, certain colors are gonna flower colors. You're gonna keep the greens. You'll keep. You know, let's just put something over this balcony like this. Kind of close this off. Maybe we'll have something going up this way too. 
I'd like to thank Lucinda for the donation that came in through the Super Chat. Oh, Lucinda, thank you very much. Thank that you, is thank awesome. You. I'm going to want this to be lighter so it shows up. There's a little bit of a... All right, so we got... This, these people have kind of overrun their balcony, haven't they? But I do like it. I almost feel like I... Just gosh, wouldn't you love to just be able to do plants like this? I need some more plants right here, <laughs> and I need a little few a little more right here, and then we need to come down it's here all like part of the this. Magic. I want to bring some down in front of this pot right there. It's all part of the magic, and it gets it gets sort it's sort of fun, right? Just just barely touch it. There you go. So those little flowers down there. Okay, so I'm going to skin this over, yes and yes, and then we're going to add some flowers, yes? Great. All right, and she's using the hair dryer once again. Take the opportunity again to thank everybody who's been do donating. We do really appreciate it. There are people out there that are struggling. They want an opportunity to give us a try and get help out in general. Got 370 thumbs up. We appreciate that. I saw earlier that we're at 93,500 subscribers. I don't think we'll make it this year. Maybe next year, 2022, we get our 100,000. But you never know. With your help, get subscribed. It costs you nothing to do that. It does help us. It lets people know that you, we are appreciated. Okay, so this is kind of exciting, yeah? Time to put in the flowers. Yes and yes. Okay. So, um, I think I've got a little of this that's still clean. Let's just Okay, there we go. Also, write the dates of when you buy this stuff. I have found that, you know, while Liquitex makes this and Golden makes the, the gels and other companies, I have found that my Goldens from 15 years still are good. There's something about the way their uh, stuff seals. Not that you're going to keep it for 15 years, but, you know, time flies when you're having fun. 15 years could go by pretty quickly. You're going, I swear, I just bought that. Well, you didn't, but uh, <laughs> anyhow. Hey, we'd All right. like to thank Sally for the donation that came in through PayPal. Thank you, Miss Sally. Thank you, Sally, very much. All right, so we're just doing the... We're going to go for some purple flowers? We're going to do some purple flowers. I like purple flowers. I like purple flowers, too, because there's a lot of gold in here, right? Do you see that, sort of that gold stuff? So I thought purple flowers might be nice. Um... Start with the darker purple. Okay, so the purple flowers are always good. Yes and yes. I love purple flowers. And uh, let's do a little white with that. Let's put a little light. Uh, particularly where there's something dark going here. Whatever happened to the Van Gogh hair dryer? Um, oh, um, somebody wrote and asked if they could have it. We sent it to them. It was a gift. Somebody wrote to watch the show and said, um, um, I, since we'd retired it and, and this Infinity Pro, which is quieter than the Van Gogh was, and there was a guy wrote us and said, my wife would love your hair dryer. Could we have it? And we said, sure. And uh, we just sent it to him. He said, pay for the shipping. It's yours. I th or did we even pay for the shipping? We might have. Paid for the shipping. I don't remember. But anyway, he got it. It's out among, it's out among the wild. Yeah. You know, just, every, you know, I guess we could have put it in an auction. But we, anyway, we. Jenny would like to say, I got my lighthouse painting and I love it. Thank you very much. And thank you. That was from the auction. Oh, that's awesome. Let's see, a little bit of purple here. OK. 
okay? And, uh, you know, the thing is, is that once you, you, if you get a little texture on there, you don't, the flowers don't even have to have texture because there's already texture on here. Just those little side points. Um, yeah, but sometimes a little extra doesn't hurt. That's true. Because your leaf did give you some texture, but. Yeah, so there you go. So there's some purple ones, and I kind of, I feel like um, we could do some purple ones down here, too. As long as we're doing it. So usually you see me do all pink, right? I, I feel like we got to change it up a little bit, yeah? Just to be crazy. I, I just your wild and crazy friends here in Texas. We're just going to pick it's just a little bit of. Sure, though. We'd like to thank you for your donation. It came in through Super Chat from Down Under. Thank you so much, Ginger John, for your generosity and two hearts. Oh, thank you very much. I like the Appreciate hearts. It. Two hearts. Thank, thank you, you very much. Someday we're going to get down under. We're so Yeah, close. we had such trips planned. I mean, you know, everybody had this. You know, I think there's going to be a new way of dating things. And this is my thought. I'll see what you guys think. <laughs> it's, it's, it used to be, you know, like we live in 2001, BC, you know, um, a, AD, right? Yeah. But actually it's um, BC before COVID. Yeah. Now it's AC. And now it's AC. Kind of COVID. AC. Before COVID and after COVID. I think we'll change it. We're just, this generation, I've just... Because I don't think anything will ever quite go back the way it was. It's close, but not quite. All right, so here's our purple flowers. It's just nice. Now, I am liking those purple flowers. So now, again, we have to ask the question, what what is happiness with them? Um, What's going to be with happy purple, with... with purple is yellow. Yes. Oh, yes. I was going to say yellow. I know you were, but we're just going to say, what if there was? Some I've been yellow... learning. I've been listening. What, what if there was some yellow flowers? Right. What if there were some yellow ones? I bet you're not going to put that yellow on top of the purple, though. Unless you're no, really quick. no, 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 and, <laughs> and um. That could be Mudsville. So let's see. We we know we need some purple. We need some gold flowers right here. Some yellow and um, kind of this yellow orange color. We just have to drop that on there. Don't know. This is um. We just. It's almost translucent. All right. So there's a pretty. Now we want the. Lighter like yellow on top is the accent. Your variations See? of yellow. So then you've got that uh, pretty yellow color, and then you've got, um, like I say, we can do. Um, I kind of think I want some yellow flowers right here in this little pot. Just anyone else see Ginger and John out of focus? No, check your resolution. See if you got dropped down. Down to the little gear in the video and see if you're at 720, at least 720. We get fuzzy at the 480 setting, I think. Okay, so we've got some yellow ones, yes and yes. And um, I think some kind of off-white blue ones would be pretty. It should be so easy to plant flowers like this, wouldn't it? Oh, wouldn't that be just great? So we've got some pretty blue ones there. And um, uh, we'll just put some white on them. Okay. 
And what happens is because the blue's wet, you're good. If you do a couple taps with the white, you'll turn it into sort of light blue. It'll you know, pull up actually, some of that it'll blue. just sort of do that, you know. Yes, Ginger, I've been saying VC and AC also so true. But thanks heavens, during all the madness, we could depend on you and John to keep us normal. <laughs> normal? Yeah. Really? We appreciate that. All right. Now, I want some pink flowers coming over from the top, maybe up here. Of course you maybe, do. Uh, but maybe I think I'll do white because I don't want to take the pink up out your eye out of the picture. Oh, really? So Are gonna... we avoiding the pink tonight? So we're not going to do pink ones. We're going to do sort of a... oh. some white ones here, some kind of white bougainvillea types that are coming down here. John, will this be an academy? Well, yeah, it's on YouTube, too. References will be there tomorrow, hopefully. So if I had, so now see my eyes still going up there. Do you see well, what Well, you happened? put a light color up there. I know, but I'm, not, <laughs> I'm explaining, John. Oh, sorry. Yeah, thank you. Um, <laughs> the, you see, the, because the white is going up there, so I don't want those white, right? And, um, and I don't want mm -hmm. them yellow. And I don't believe I want the bread. This is just, you know, the quandary. What color do you want these flowers, if anything at all, right? So I think, uh, let's see, <clears throat> for my choices here, I've got um, I've got magenta. Let's see what that does. I've got magenta. That's a softer, it's not a bright pink. It's more of a, it's still in the purple tones. So it's not clashing with the others. So the magenta works. We'll put a little of this magenta over here too, on this side. maybe a darker purple magenta do a little darker take some purple and magenta and make a darker color not quite purple not quite magenta there you go so there we go this okay so we've got this really a fun balcony of um, flowers. Now, what I want to do is get some brighter orange down here on one of these pots. Bring your eye back down here a little bit. This is a second coat of paint. Okay, so I've got that, right? And um, just, just see right in here where I've got, you see this little pot, this little group of um flowers coming down. Do you see that? Right in there. Okay, so what I need to do there is I need to open that back up. That needs to get opened back up to um, the wall. So I'm going to just, I think I can erase a little bit of this just by putting the wall back. Because that was just, a, that, that that just got, to, in this little pit canvas, it just got too much, right? So I needed that to be smaller. And I can probably take a little of the um, lighter, let's see, where, where's my light? I had a really light green, and it's not in there anymore, is it? Where's this? I want to bring your eye back down, so I'm going to take some, uh, some of this lighter green right here out of the, Here, let's put a little right there. Take a little of this brighter green, kind of a little accent color, and brighten that up. Not too much of this, just a little bit of it. Because again, acrylics 
dry darker. Put some white with that. There we go. So this is sort of our balcony of flowers. I think you could you could change flower colors if you wanted. I like the white ones down there on our on the bottom. And um, I like everybody but these. Now what can I do? I don't like these right here. So I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to take these off. I like these part, but I don't like this. I'm just going to scrape that. Which is pretty easy to do, right? And I'm going to go ahead and paint. I decided that I don't like those the way they are. And I think you got to know that you can change stuff, right? I mean, this is why I tell you, if you're going to paint something and design a painting, do it small before you do this 16 by 20. See how it's coming out smaller. Yes. And then, um, and then do it. So I'm going to do this. Um, I don't want to um, do a little bit of brown in that. A little bit of white because i got to paint over that. So I'm going to paint over this a little bit of yellow off. A little bit of yellow oxide. See if that'll color will work, you know. A little bit of brown. You can. You're not stuck with anything. I gotta tell you, you're just not. You've got you wanna um you want to um you you can change it, and particularly if it's dry, but you can change it. Now see I like that much better. And I think I would have liked that better if I hadn't put any flowers in there and just had some greenery, but that's all right. I'm just going to go ahead and, 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 and just do this. Okay, and just sort of lighten that up, right? And uh, so I'm looking at this going, nope, that's that's got it. Is this dry enough? For, all right, so we're gonna, I'm going to scrape that off too. That's what you call a do-over. All right. This is why you want a good white that'll cover. See, so, you know, I want this darker up here. And I'm just going to paint those out because I don't like them. And we'll take some of this darker color and bring it down instead. There we go. So it got a little busy on us. And that worked. Um, maybe I wanted a little bit lighter in here. You could, you've got some latitude to do stuff, and I could dry this and even do it more, but you've got some latitude where you can lighten or darken something up. You're not, you're just, I think, you guys think you're stuck with stuff, and you're just not. You just tap that in there and say, there's some lighter around these flowers. So there we go. And uh, so, OK, so that we've got our um, bright orange umbrella, which gets another coat. And we've got some brighter pots down here. We've got something pretty dark under here. Under here, I want this really dark under here. Dark purple under here. And maybe I'll even bring some dark purple here down here like this. I'll just bring your eye down a little bit, get this drippy. Okay, so there we go. Let's take a little red, bring everything down. So now what we've done, what by doing that, what we've done is we've uh, created um, the the you, you, we've directed the eye. I created we directed the eye to uh, this area in here, 
and kind of kind of framed it in just by darkening the corners. Does that make sense? So let's just try that like that. Lighten that up right like that. And then if I wanted to do any more than that, I'd have to dry it. And I'm not going to take the moment to dry it. So just avoid big globs of paint and you're good to go. Always put the paint on your brush, tap it off, and then do it. See, you don't need big globs of paint to, to make this work. I'm going to lighten that up around there so you can see our balcony. And uh, let's see, one more thing on the, on the umbrella. Let's see, I'm going to do a, another brush with my... If you're using white paint and you're um, you're using white paint and your brush is dirty, it won't be white. So I want some white up here on the top of this umbrella for the contrast. There you go. Now I've got the contrast there with the with the flowers here. These white flowers here and a few here. There we go. Voila! We have liftoff, Houston. So there's our Italian balcony with the uh, with the flowers, and that's how you use the gels. And you can see how much of this green I have left, and all that could go in this. If you had a little jar or something, you could say you can save that and use it again, which is uh, good to know. Yes and yes. All right, so we're about ready to do a drawing on this. Let me just do a. A little light on top of this railing. So you didn't see most of those um, you didn't see the rails really anyway, did you? you just barely saw the where the rails uh, came in here. Okay, so John, what do you got here for us? Well, you tell me. Are we done with it? I'm done. I have to do move all this. You don't have a six by eight frame I don't up there. Have a six by eight. Not up there. No, huh? No, I don't. Do I? These are big fancy frames. Oh, don't have it. All right. Well, there. That's uh. There's our picture, you guys. And somebody's going to win this today. And maybe it'll be you. you never you know. You've entered our drawing. All right. Let's find out who the winner winner chicken dinner is. Two hundred and ninety-three entrees. All right, and lucky number is that guy right there. Going to go all the way to Florida. Really? Florida? Wow, that's terrific. I so love it. The winner of the, let's see, balcony painting. Winner of our balcony painting, the little um, Italian gonna, balcony. Put another one here. I knew you weren't done yet. Well, you know, you know, you. I always tell people to look at stuff for a little bit. Well, we came back are. three weeks later. Yeah, I mean, you know, I can look at stuff and then see. Well, that would be good, or maybe I should do that, or you know, you can't help but you know, there's a there's a I want to make sure that's a, like an A there with that split. Right, good, good enough, right? So yeah, I mean, there's all kinds. I mean, you can, you can do a lot. Or Joanne little. Weber, come on down. Joanne, huh? Yep. So next up, what's going to be next, my queenness? Yeah. So that's the um, that's for the painting, Joanne. That's, you won the that is for the balcony painting. Ba balcony painting. All right. Congratulations. As it says right there. And then we've got the um, Salvador paint set. Large tube Salvador paint set. 
Got to scroll way up, way at the other end of the spectrum. Okay, right here, and that is going to... What is that? GA. Oh, that's Georgia. I didn't think for a second. It's going to Georgia? Oh, going wow, to Georgia. Georgia. Okay. So this is the Salvador Sal. So what's the name? Um, Mo Melanie Mansell. Melanie Manfield. Okay, so congratulations for that. Congratulations for this. Now, oh gosh, somebody, some lucky person's going to get one of these brand new brushes and this, um, these brand new, um, uh, Bristol on three eighths inch an 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 angle brush and, uh, and the, uh, and, and a three pack of the panels of the panels, like what I painted on today. And this is thanks to one of our viewers watched it and said, I'd like to participate in the, um, in the giveaways and the giveaways and she she not only um bought this and the brush but also included the shipping which is helpful which, are, which helped us a lot so there you go so that she, she even included the shipping on that so, so what do we got i gotta change my screen we got that person there oh uh, that person there huh yeah scroll 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 and these are neat. I mean, I'm telling you what, I, 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 I'm not a big fan normally of just a cardboard covered, you know, um, cardboard, and then they cover it with a fabric. I'm not a big fan of that. But these are real high quality uh, panels. I mean, they start off with the masonite, and then they do an isolation coat, and they then they add that they glue on the. They do a lot. There's fabric. a, there's a there's lot to make. A lot of things. steps in this, and they're very nice. You get three to a pack, and. We always said uh, after that we'll go ahead and still do an underpainting on them. They come in different colors, but they, they're always. So I would probably them. just buy gray from here on out when I get them. I think I'll just get gray because yeah. we always put something under them. Teresa Hanley. Teresa Hanley, and where does she live? Um, I know that information. Uh, Kentucky. Another Kentucky person. No, we Why had Georgia be... before. We had Georgia, and now no, we, we had have Georgia. Kentucky. We had Florida, Georgia, Kentucky. I'm working Kentucky. my way west, apparently. Oh, Kentucky. All right. So then the last thing, you guys, that we're doing, last one is we've got, we besides this as an Academy release, we also have these available, the tutorials, the step-by-step -step tutorial on this as a downloadable lesson. And this is what we thought some people might enjoy doing for Father's Day. So we have that. So... um John's we're going to do a drawing for a downloadable lesson for this. And if you're an Academy member, um, you can just pick up some other downloadable lesson if you want uh, that, um, you know, the same value. Okay. Or, you, you know, whatever the values you can pay. We think you'd like this. So we have that and you can add that to your library. And with the advantage of a downloadable lesson, it's like, the difference between checking a book out of the library or going to the store and owning a book, you actually own the tutorial then forever it's yours, which is sort of neat to have have a collection of those. Uh, so the information in this, I think, is pretty neat um, in this particular video, so which is a good thing. And speaking of information, uh, why John's looking for the winner for that, the um, for the tutorial for this, uh, we will not be here next monday look for our be sure to subscribe to the channel because we're either going to go um after my daughter cinnamon on saturday or maybe on a friday we might do a special broadcast uh john and i are taking uh we got something came up on monday which would so makes we're not doing the broadcast next week but we're going to try to do it extra one monday. this week we're, we're coming early instead we're coming early instead so um, so look for us either friday or monday so what do we got for this um, this is going to Francine Timbers. Francine Timbers. All okay, right. Downloadable. How do you spell cognac? Cognac. See? Wait. I don't know. But... See? So That's it... why it's whiskey. So... <laughs> <laughs> so it's going for that. 
And, whiskey, uh, chip, chip, whiskey cards, and I don't remember what it's all called. Whiskey chip. cards and dice or something. Yeah. It was clever. What I, whatever I came up with, it was clever. So you've got that. So congratulations. So somebody asked, how do the winners know that there are already a winner before I even announce it on the screen? Because I say it and you hear it and there's a timing issue. But I still put it in here because I have to go back and recheck it. It's in this chat and I can find it. So it's a timing issue between audible and visual and when the queen wants me to announce something. So, so you that you hear it first and then you see sometimes it. Sometimes you hear it first, sometimes you see it first. It depends on how we do it first. Yeah. Uh, so winner of the downloadable, uh, I'm gonna call it chips and, chips and dice is Green Timbers. I mean, All righty. Having fun with a couple of the colors here. I see guys. that, my queenness. You haven't given up. Just uh, just brightened up a couple of the little yellows right here because they were pretty. And you can do that. Hey, we'd like to thank everybody that joined us this evening. If you have not had a chance to subscribe, do so on your way out. I um, want well, thank you and thank Debbie for the pencils. Thanks, thanks for all the donations. And the question I have to for, leave in the comments below is that are you doing a painting for Father's Day? And if so, what are you painting? That's Just a good question. Curious. A good question, right? And again, we thank you very much for um, for hanging out with us. Please tell your friends. Subscribe to our channel. Put this in a playlist. Uh, and uh, spread the word. Share, share, the, share the links, you guys. And um, we hope this has been fun for you. And um, uh, it was fun for us. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye. You know, when John and I first got together and became business partners uh, five years ago, and he and his wife were living in Michigan, and I was living in, in Houston, Texas. And through very sad circumstances, his wife passed away not too long after that. And in her memory, because she was such a generous person, Karen was such a generous person, we started a foundation in our art academy when we got that going. And it's called the Karen Little um, Scholarship Fund. And when you donate to that, you help other artists uh, join the academy for a week, a month, six months, a year, and give them a chance for an art education that might change their life. You know, you can say, hand someone a, a fish they eat for a day, you know, teach them to fish, they, they eat for a lifetime. Help someone to learn to paint and really fulfill their destiny as an artist and consider contributing to the Karen Little Foundation Scholarship for Artists. And guess what? For every dollar you put in, we match it in our donations to help other artists uh, prosper and really learn to paint.